to present the CNC Scholar Athlete Award. Please welcome Dean of Admissions, Christoph Gutentag. Appreciate the opportunity to, uh, certainly as a Dean of Admissions, I appreciate the opportunity to give this award in particular. Um, I think it says a lot about this team and about Duke and about this award winner that apart from all of her academic accomplishments, athletically, she led the team in rebounding at 7.6 rebounds per game, averaged over 12 points a game, led the team in three-point percentage, led the team in minutes played, two-time All-ACC selection, first team All-ACC tournament, and academically not too shabby either, with a cumulative GPA of 3.82. Which, which, means, which means that the last time she got a B plus was in the first semester of her freshman year, and every other grade since then has been an A, an A minus, or an A plus. <laughs> Dean's list every semester she's been here, three-time all ACC academic team, Third time she's won this award, Scholar Athlete Award, Haley Peters. Nice job, nice job. Yes, yes, yes. That's great. Oh, look at that. That's great. You're welcome. Great job. Thank you, Christoph, for all those nice words. And thank you for this award, especially to Heather. I don't know where you are. To Heat Ryan, who is our academic advisor. There she is, who does everything for us and takes care of us. Um, and I'll keep it brief. I just want to thank my teammates for this whole year. Um, we've learned a lot about each other and about what we can be. Um, and obviously, thank you, especially to Allie, our lone senior who was a great senior for us, and yeah, you know, Allie gets everything. Allie gets all the rounds. <laughs> and um, thank you all for being here tonight and for all your support throughout the year. My parents couldn't be here tonight, but of course, thank you to them for everything. And I hope you all have a good night. Thank you. Uh, let's keep it moving. Uh, to present this year's CNC Ball Kid of the Year Award, please welcome Trisha Liston to the podium. Hi. Um, well, I'd like to thank everyone for coming, first of all, um, and we appreciate everyone's support throughout the year. Um, but I would like to thank all the CNC Ball Girl members, um, boys and girls, for their outstanding work and support that they've shown us throughout the year. There were many particular young ladies and men who shined in all three categories of attendance, service, and enthusiasm. However, there is one who stood out among the rest. Please join us in congratulating Morgan Sorrell. Next up, please welcome Katie Heckman to the podium to present this year's Senior Award. I wonder who's getting this award tonight. <laughs> There's a lot of competition, but it's Allie, obviously. Um, just because Allie's the only senior doesn't mean she doesn't deserve this award. She's really like a great senior. She's led the team in all aspects. I know off the court, I had a class with Allie first semester and she would always help me and she brought maturity to the team that none, no one else has grown into yet. <laughs> Maybe next year, Chels. <laughs> but Allie was always there if anyone needed help on and off the court. In on court, when I was like observing practice and th they're cheering, Allie was always loud and leading by example in everything we did. If Allie wasn't there at a practice, for some reason, like you could tell, practice was completely different. And Allie was just completely deserving of this award because she led the team on and off the court. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, well, 
Thanks to everybody, and thanks to Katie. Those words mean a lot to me. Thanks to the team, obviously. And uh, I'll actually be back later to do all my thank yous. So. All right, we have uh, three statistical award winners to recognize this evening. And ladies, just please stand and remain at your seats when I read your names. Uh, number one, assist maker, Alexis Jones, 144. Best rebounder, Haley Peters, 273. And best free throw shooter, Tricia Liston, 93%. Congratulations. All right, continuing with the awards, please welcome Coach Candace Jackson to present the sixth player award. Hey, everybody. Thank you all for coming. Um, this award actually was voted on by the coaches. This young lady is somebody who has really persevered all season. She had a, an extremely adverse situation that she overcame last season. Uh, injury this year, but she overcame that as well. She has embraced her role. She has accepted her role. Anything we pretty much ask her to do, she did. We asked her to rebound. She said, well, I can't rebound, but she could box out. So she did that. <laughs> we asked her to knock down some shots. She hit six for seven against North Carolina. She went four or five against Florida State, yeah. she, she did what she was supposed to do. And so our sixth player award goes to Chloe Wells this year. Thank you, everybody. This award means a lot. Thank you guys for voting for me, coaches. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, just thanks. Enjoy. All right, welcome uh, Hernando Planels to present this year's Most Improved Player Award. Before I get to the award, I just want to thank everyone being here, but I want to thank Coach P and the staff and, and everybody making me feel at home. It's, I've not even been here a year. I've been here like nine months. So I, I really, really appreciate everybody, how everybody made me feel good. Now, um, I'm not very good at making predictions, uh, but after our first two preseason games, I made two. The first one I made is that I would gain 10 pounds during the season. I surpassed that by gaining 12. The second one was that this young lady was going to improve every single game, and that she was going to improve as a person, as a player, and as a leader. When I first met her, she kept saying, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, sir, no, sir, and I, I know I'm balding, but I said, I'm really not that old. So please just say yes, no. And she didn't listen. But she does things on the court that in my 13 years and I, coaching men, I couldn't teach that to a man. She's, she sees the floor. She makes pinpoint passes. She makes shots going in so nonchalant. And I was impressed every single game. And I was really impressed when she stopped saying yes, sir, and no, sir. <laughs> so this award will go to most improved to Miss Alexis Jones. Um, well, I want to thank everybody that's here today. And I really want to thank my team for making me like feel comfortable about myself. And because <laughs> I know when I first got here, I was really shy and I wouldn't talk and I would just sit there and stare at people. <laughs> so, <laughs> but um, I really enjoy myself here now and I'm very comfortable. Thank you. <laughs> All right, next up, I'd like to invite Coach Joy Cheek to the podium to present this year's Making Plays Award. I feel a little unprepared because everyone else just said it like right off the top of their head, but I had to write mine, so. All right. Some may think these two players who will be receiving these, these awards are being recognized only for their innate ability to find their open teammates. However, they are more than just good passers. In many instances, they have gotten crucial steals, hit clutch shots, grabbed tough rebounds, and yes, made some jaw-dropping passes. We are fortunate to have not just one, but two players who can kill defenses in a variety of ways with, their ball, with the ball in their hands. Our fans and program are fortunate to have them two together again next year, with hopes of seeing a repeat of what they've done this year and even more. The Duke Women's Basketball 2013 Making Plays Awards goes to Chelsea Gray and Alexis Jones. <laughs> Hey, I'm back up here again. Um, I want to... You just have to say thank you. I know, but I want to say thank you, too. I, um, <laughs> I really enjoy playing with Chelsea, and I missed her out there on the court this year. 
But I can't wait to play with her next year again. And we're going to have a lot of fun with not just Chelsea, but <laughs> everybody that's going to come back next year, too. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm not giving you the shout out. You're already up here. <laughs> Um, I want to say thank you again. Thanks, Coach Joy. I mean, I give her a hard time in the office and everything, but I, you do a good job, so. <laughs> but um, seriously, thank you, and thank you, everybody, for being here. And, yeah, and I, guess I enjoy playing with you, too, Lex. <laughs> no sweater today. It's all suit. Sharp-dressed man, Coach Brown. Morgan, thank you for all you do for us and uh, how much we appreciate your words on the air and all of us here uh, certainly appreciate the job you and Steve do on a nightly basis. Uh, like Joy, I have about 15 or 20 pages here <laughs> and uh, I'm going to have to go through it in a somewhat organized manner. Uh, I want to thank everybody who's here, all of you folks who support us uh, through uh, all kinds of situations and are there for us. It means so much to all of us, the coaches, the players, uh, and we all can't thank you on a daily basis. And so once a year when you come here uh, to visit with us, we want to make sure that you understand how important you are. And if you'll convey that to all the folks who are out there that couldn't be here tonight, we, will, we would certainly appreciate it because it's you folks in the stands and your support that makes what we do uh, a lot of uh, important and worthwhile. Uh, I want to uh, take a moment to thank uh, our wonderful head coach uh, who has endured me for nine years, and as she suggested, we're going to start our 10th year together next fall. Uh, it was a pleasure meeting her in Indianapolis a few years ago and talking basketball uh, during a time when we were recruiting, and uh, then later to have the opportunity to work with her. Uh, she is uh, a passionate person, a uh, outstanding uh, mother, coach, community figure, and uh, a joy to work with uh, on a daily basis. And like I, I said, uh, she, she has done a great job of putting up with me, which isn't always easy to do. And uh, <laughs> these ladies would attest to that. But uh, thank you so much, uh, Coach P, for giving me this opportunity. I want to thank also our administration, uh, Jackie, uh, who uh, heads up our women's athletic program, uh, and Cindy, who gives us direction as far as compliance is concerned and keeps us on task in that regard. And I'll say this about Cindy, she's always there when we call her, and there are a lot of situations that come up in this business where, where you need an answer right now and Cindy's able to do that, and it means a lot to us as coaches. And then certainly, uh, I, I'm going to go ahead and echo the words that uh, Coach P mentioned before to Dr. White. I have had the blessing of being in a lot of different athletic programs in my life, and, and it has been a blessing. Uh, but Dr. White is the number one athletic director that I have ever come in contact with. Uh, he is on top of everything, he is always there, and he is always there after a game to uh, shake your hand and uh, to lend support uh, after a win. And of course, at home, we never lose, so it's always an enjoyable experience. You have had an opportunity to see these young ladies come up here, and, and that if you know them, and, and to be around them, you have to understand what a thrill it is for a coach to be able to work with them on a daily basis. These ladies are absolutely super people. If I had a daughter and she was going to school and could, op could actually be in an environment with, this, with these ladies, it would, be, it, would, it would be something that I would treasure because she would not only have good friends, but great direction, and uh, she would also get a lot of help with her school. 
which is something she'd probably need if she was my daughter. Uh, one, one last point about uh, our administration. We got a chance to start the NCAA tournament run this year at home. And you, you folks have to understand that that's not easy to do, meaning to get an NCAA tournament at your site. Uh, it takes a lot of work by the administration, and it takes a lot of work by all those folks at Duke to make that happen. It doesn't just, it's just not something that's easily done. And, and that's how much uh, all of our uh, support means and, and how important it is. Congratulations to these ladies. I think sometimes we don't understand what a remarkable group this is and what they have achieved. Uh, it's been chronicled here, and I, I certainly am not going to go through all that, but sometimes when you come up short, as we did this year, uh, you leave with a bit of disappointment. But when you look back on our season, there's nothing to be disappointed about. It was a wonderful season. It was a season where these ladies embraced adversity and came out on the other side of it on top. Winning the ACC is not something that's easy to do. And, and to do it four years in a row is, is a monumental achievement. And to win the ACC tournament three out of the last four years is also a monumental achievement. And then one of the just the little side items, which is a lot of fun, was beating an ugly blue school down the road three times in one year. And then top it off with, of course, uh, a finish in the final eight uh, and a very, very hard fought game against an excellent uh, Notre Dame team. Uh, to their credit, but I will say this, and these ladies will have to understand this, and I know they will. We're going to welcome that team into our conference next year, and they are going to figure out what it's like to be second or third or fourth in the league <laughs> after they come to the ACC. Right, ladies? All right. Sarah, I want to thank you and congratulate you all in one. Uh, your expert help this year meant a lot to me. Uh, you were outstanding, and I really appreciate it. Uh, it, it, uh, it was very, very helpful. And I know she's been mentioned, but if you know how closely I work with Lauren Rice, you would understand why I'm taking this time to thank her. I'm, I'm telling you folks, we have a lot of special people at Duke. But Lauren Rice is the best video person in the nation. Not just local, in the nation. Allison? Allie. Uh, Allison, um, you talk about enduring. Allison put up with me her freshman year. I, Allison came in, and I necessarily, I, know, I mean, I knew she was from France, but I necessarily didn't realize that all this stuff I'm throwing out, Allison was sitting there being very polite, but I'm sure some of it she didn't quite understand because she was just new to our country, and I was treating her like she was just from down the road there from Raleigh or someplace. <laughs> and she... We spent a lot of time together. Uh, of course, she, she works, uh, she was a post player and uh, a wonderful post player. But I'm going to go back to something uh, Katie said about her uh, as I ramble through this a little bit. We came back this year from our Christmas break and the first practice we had, Allison wasn't there. And I walked off the floor that day and I said to myself, she makes a big difference in our practices. If Allison was here, we wouldn't have had a practice like we had today. And I don't mean to say every practice because Allison was there was perfect, but Allison brought an energy and an enthusiasm every day 
in every practice. And it was, it was evident when she wasn't there. And Allison, you have been a blessing to all of us. And Coach mentioned all the things that you've done since you've been here. But for someone, I mean, again, you think about leaving your country as a young person, 17 or 18 years old, going to a foreign country and, and then trying to assimilate into the, the culture and everything, and then to come out on the other side with a job and, and the recognition that she had earned by being here uh, to get that opportunity to stay. We are blessed to have you. We were blessed to have you for four years. We're blessed that you're going to be here and be with us. <laughs> Lastly, to these wonderful ladies down here. We have some unfinished business, ladies. And we're about to get ready to take care of that. Right? All right. Hopefully, we'll be a better free throw shooting team last, uh, next year than, than we were this year. Uh, our leading free throw percentage shooter uh, really takes to instruction well. And if everybody else would do that, we would be a lot better. <laughs> I, I'm going to say one comment about something I said at the start of the season. Uh, Chelsea and, and Trish think they're pretty good free throw shooters, and they've proven that, that they aren't bad. But they, we were talking before practice started, and they, they were talking about, well, I'll be a better free throw shooter than you, and so on and so forth. And they said, who do you think will be the best free throw shooter on the team this year? And I said, well, that freshman over there, Jones, probably will be. Well, Alexis, you were close, but you, but you, didn't, you didn't get it done. So that's a challenge. <laughs> I am honored to present the Defensive Player of the Year Award tonight. And it is really an honor uh, that I get this opportunity. And this is voted on by the team. It is not uh, by the coaches. So this is the, the team uh, saw this lady as our best defender. And uh, the criteria were uh, defensive intensity, ball pressure, deflections, steals, being a defensive stopper, and being an intimidator. Uh, now, we place a lot of emphasis on defense. Every one of these ladies sitting at this table can play defense. And they, they work at it. They, they embrace it. And uh, that's why we lead the league in, in defense every year, and that's why we lead the league and why, why, why we win the championships. But this lady clearly stood out uh, from her, by her teammates and was recognized by, has been recognized by her teammates. I go back to her freshman year. We were playing in a tournament here in the NCAA tournament. And the winner is going to recognize right away what I'm going to say. Because we were playing Tennessee Martin. And one of the Tennessee Martin guards, who they had some very good guards, went by this uh, player like she wasn't even on the floor. And the, the winner of this award looks around like, who's, who's going to guard her? Or who's helping me? The answer is, you better learn how to defend somebody yourself and not look for help. Well, over the past couple of three years, she has learned to do that quite efficiently. Uh, she, she does a great job. She's one of the two or three people on our team that take charges. Uh, did you hear that, uh, Miss Free Throw Shooter? Uh, <laughs> She's a great help defender. She, she really has a concept down of, of what to do when you're away from the ball. Uh, she has already been talked about the Oklahoma State game where she came in and set the tempo. Uh, and she did the same thing in the Maryland game uh, defensively. So the award is, is more than justified. She had six steals 
in one game this year against Florida State and four against Notre Dame in the NCAA tournament. Uh, she averaged two steals a game and led our team in steals during the NCAA tournament play. So she just kept getting better and better. And that, the award and the honor this year goes to, who is it? Chloe, Chloe well. <laughs> Thanks again, team. Um, I forgot to talk about Allie. Allie, it's been a joy playing with you, and I'm going to miss you and our talks in the hotel room about how much we love basketball. And um, yeah, so it's just been, a, been an honor. So thanks again, guys. See you guys. All right, nice job. Well, next up, the MMOC, and we've got Sarah Smoke, who's going to be leaving us for uh, Coastal Carolina. Can you say the mascot? Do you know it? Do you know? Chanticleer. Very good. Come on up. The joys of uh, being 5'3 in women's basketball. Got to ruin the bike. Um, we're the angry roosters, basically. So we play UNC next year. I expect everybody in this room to be in attendance. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Coach. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, thank you for taking me and his family, for encouraging me and challenging me as I grow in my career. Uh, thank you to this team, to the staff. Uh, I love you guys. And uh, thank you for letting me be a part of your life. And um, it's the people of Duke. You know, we have banners, we have championships, we have great teams. But it's the people of Duke that truly make it a special place to be. And I just want to thank you for the last five years. It's meant a lot to me. You know. <laughs> and I, uh, I'll be 20 minutes from the beach, guys. So guest rooms are out there. <laughs> Visitors are, are expected and welcome. So, <laughs> all right, the Mean Mother Award. Champions do small things in big ways. That is the essence of the Mean Mother Award. The glory often goes to the leading scorer, but the work on the boards, the defensive stop, the calculated assist are unheralded plays that earn banners and define champions. We celebrate the blue collar effort that leads to each win by awarding a Mean Mother of the game. This year's Mean Mother became the fourth Blue Devil to hit over 50% from the field, 40% from downtown, and 75% from the free throw line. Her 273 rebounds rank six on the all-time Duke record books. In addition to her tenacity on the court, she also has mean Beyonce lip-syncing skills. <laughs> it has been an honor chasing great with this young lady. This year's MMOC winner, Haley Peters. I just have a, two things. First of all, I didn't say before, but about smoke. Um, one of the most important things that in my life I've realized is just the most important quality about a person is how genuine they are. And I've never met somebody who is quite as genuine as Smoke. I mean, you look into her eyes and you know what she's saying. She says it from the bottom of her heart every time. And I know that they are lucky, they are darn lucky to have you at Coastal Carolina. They really are. Thanks. So give a round of applause for Smoke. And um, for the Mean Mother Award, I'm from New Jersey, so we don't just say mother, we say the whole thing, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I just want to thank my team for always putting up with me, for putting up for some of the hard things that I say to them, um, and for always having my back and understanding where I come from and the place that I come from is that I care about them, even when it gets a little challenging to see that, but thank you all. All right. To present this year's final award of the evening, please welcome back head coach Joanne P. McCauley. Uh, we had a lot of different people make plays this year. A lot of balance, a lot of great talent, a lot of great shots. And, um, yeah, and this, this particular person showed incredible leadership, and there was a definite consistency about her. Uh, always being in attack mode, and out, always drawing a lot of attention from the defense because she had to be played. She performed in big games. Um, you could almost call her clutch uh, several times. Six times she had 20 or more points through the season. Uh, she rose in the face of adversity. At the weight game, when Chelsea went down, she had 29 points in response to that incredible challenge. In uh, the game against NC State in the tournament, she had 26. 
and against Notre Dame, which was probably the ultimate challenge and show of where you are and what you do, she had 19 and six rebounds as well. As we discussed, she's third in the nation, 46.5% in three-point shooting. As we discussed, she led the AC in uh, free throw percentage, 93%. And she does want to take charges, by the way, Coach Brown. <laughs> she does, and I think she will. She will chase great to do so. School record, 83-point shots made. This year's Player of the Year is Trisha Liston. Um, thank you. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank Allie. Um, she's been incredible since I was a freshman. She's been like a sister truly to me, um, I think to all of us. On and off the court, you can count on her for anything. You can ask her anything, you can talk about anything. And I think that's something really special to have in a teammate and a friend. And so I've really enjoyed my time here with you and I just wanted to say thank you for that. But also I'd like to thank you, all of my teammates. Um, I think we had a really great year and I've had a lot of fun with all of you guys. And I look forward to next year with everyone and um, everyone, all of our supporters and fans, thank you. And another important um, group of people, our coaches. Um, our entire staff has been wonderful. Coach P, Coach Brown, I will get one of those charges sooner or later. <laughs> um, but really, uh, this year has been really special for all of us and it takes this whole room here to do that, so thank you.